My favorite memory, one of my favorite off the top of my head, was the first day that I got to set and everybody had kind of already worked with each other because they had done a little bit of the pilot already and the sizzle reel and uh, it was lunchtime and so I was going through the line and I didn't really know many people and uh, one of the PAs came up and said, do you want to sit with your son Tyler? And I was like, yeah, I do. And uh, so we, sit, we, we shook hands and we sat down and I'm looking into his face and I'm like, oh my God, this could be my kid or my brother, or, you know, a family member. And then we proceeded to talk over lunch and I just knew in that moment that it was gonna be a lot of fun. That we were gonna have a lot of fun together. And that's what I said. I said, listen, we're gonna have a lot of fun together. This is gonna be a really great ride. And it has been. Yeah. Thank you. Anybody else have a question? How much, how involved are you going to be in Scott's life and the other kids now that it's a time jump and he went off to college? Yes, good question. You know, I think that one of the smart things that Jeff Davis did was write the parents in the know right? In the know of, of Beacon Hills and what's going on. He didn't uh, choose to make us uninvolved. And so I think we'll always be on the peripheral and we'll always be involved. Um, and But I also think that there's that time where you kind of step back and, you know, let your child move a little bit without you. Because I don't believe that um, you can be a full, like, human being without that happening, without that separation. So uh, we'll have to see what the next 10 episodes bring. Thank you. Mm -hmm. oh, some of us have seen a few of the new season yeah. and obviously the fear thing is a big thing that we all everyone knows about so yes what, I, there's a scene specifically that i'm thinking of where you were just terrified yes what did you have to think of to get in that mind uh uh, well, I was terrified of not doing a really good performance because that actually was Tyler Posey's episode that he directed. And so everybody, yeah, 613 is um, is his episode. And everybody wanted to be really on fleek for him. And, you know, we always do our homework, right? We're always doing our lines and we become professional and we don't mess around on the show. But we really wanted it. We were hyper aware that we wanted to do a good job for him. Um, and that particular scene is a lot of fun. So I really enjoyed doing that. And it's funny because, you know, a lot of times you're not afraid on the show. You know, we kind of move through the, the fear on our show to fight, you know, a lot. So it was something that you had to think about. Good question. If you had to describe how fans will feel after watching the final episode in just one word, what would it be? I hope they feel satisfied. I mean, there's, there's you know, when you have 10 episodes and it's only 44 minutes per show when you take out the advertising, that's not a lot of time to tell a story. And we have so many really great, well-developed characters. I think that Jeff and the writers tried to really do justice to each one of those characters and the storyline and our um, mythology as a whole. So when you really think about it, that's a lot to be beholden to. So I hope that, in a word, that we can all be satisfied with how it ends. It's actually a lot when you think about it. <laughs> Are you enjoying getting more of your own storylines that don't have anything to do with Scott? Yeah, it's, it's been a lot of fun. Like That's one of the things I think over the last couple seasons where we've seen these new pairings of people together. Like I've had a couple of scenes with Shelly, you know, and that was, that was a lot of fun, you know, and um, you know, to work with JR more. Because a lot of my scenes were with Lyndon. And so for us to kind of play together and, you know, for this, lo you know, love, air quotes for those who aren't here to watch, <laughs> uh, possibly blossoming, it's just been a lot of fun. Speaking of that love blossoming, yes. is there anything you tease about you and Archie? <laughs> <laughs> well, I think we explore it more. We definitely explore it more. And um, I think that you'll see uh, maybe some hesitation on or, or contemplation on where do we go from here. Because when you lay one on someone like that, you have to talk about it. So we'll see where that goes. What do you think was the defining moment for your character? Probably the moment that she saw her son as a werewolf. You know, that was way back in season two. It was a defining moment for the show. It was a defining moment for how Jeff would write for, for me, Mama McCall specifically, and also just for parents in general. He had to make a decision, right? Um, and so that, for me, was, was probably the most defining moment. But there's a really great scene also between, um, between us in the final 10 episodes. I won't give anything away, but it was a really wonderful scene for both of us to have. Oh, that's great. Yeah, yeah. What was your favorite scene from the show? 
Ever? Yeah. Oh, man. That's a tough question. There was a lot of really good work. I have to say, I don't know if there was like one particular scene that was great, but what I really enjoyed was between scenes, like, you know, the talking and messing around and like all those wonderful things that you do and, you know, planning and, you know, specifically with Dylan, he's the kind of guy that can be laughing and, you know, hysterically carrying on with a joke and then they're like, an action and he can just drop into tears and so to see that is really fun, you know, someone that has that much natural command over their emotions, um, you know, most of us have to work up to it, he's just a natural, so that's fun, the in-betweens. Um, in all six seasons, uh, what do you think was the scariest villain that you guys faced? Oh man, uh, the Dread Doctors personally for me because I have strange operation dreams that people are taking out of my teeth. Oh, oh bruh, I, I can't even. And so when I saw them, I was like, seriously, I, I, I texted Jeff, I was like, you've actually brought my worst nightmares to life. And he's like, ha ha ha. And I said, if only they were taking out teeth. And he's like, that's in 504 or whatever. <laughs> when, they were, remember when that guy was yeah. taking out his own teeth? So I have, I have those kinds of nightmares. So for me, and in person, I don't know if you guys have ever seen the, the costumes, but Barbara did an amazing job with making those. Those were all handmade. The boots, pants, the masks from our special effects guys. So they, they were really complete because they had to stay in that outfit for a really long time. But there's some stuff in the last 10 episodes that's gonna you know, chill you too. Is there any episode that fans and Melissa McCall should look out for? I don't think that there's, you know, I think that people that are fans of the show are fans of the show. And I think that there are really 10 special real episodes. Thanks for asking, but I think it's really, it, it's a compilation of everyone's amazing work. That pulls us three of these last 10. We good? Thank, Thank you, you guys. Great question.